<laughs> Eliza, you've passed the acacia tree. Just barely. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be fine. <laughs> Coaches! sister who plays with dolls. but now's not the time. You have to let Jomo take care of them. But, Mom, I have to save Tally. Who? That's what I call the cheetah cub. She names man-eating wild animals. Names them, plays with them, talks some monkey to them. Debbie, enough. Could you identify this man, Eliza? No, he shined a light in my eyes. But I saw his knife. The handle. It was carved in the shape of a falcon. That'll help find them, won't it? There are many knives. Many poachers. But I have to find Tally! Eliza, you must leave this to us. Promise me, you will never go off alone at night. I promise. Good girl. Nigel, I will call if I hear anything. Good night, all. Thank you, Jomo. Eliza, I don't want you going out in the savannah at night. 
Yeah, right. She and the monkey are always sneaking off. What? Debbie. Hey, no, I've covered long enough. Do you know that she once fed one of my protein bars to a Komodo dragon? And back in wherever land that was, she rode a Siberian tiger. Oh, oh, and ask her about the time that she was dancing with a bunch of crazy dingoes. <gasps> what? Oh, that is not even the half of it, Mom. Eliza. Thanks a lot, Deb. Nigel, I... I don't know what to do. Well, I do. It is perfectly obvious that Elizabeth has no regard for her own safety. We have discussed this for years. She needs to be in a structured environment. One such as a boarding school back in London. <laughs> oh, hold on. She messes up and she gets to go to boarding school? Mumsy. That's rather drastic. Nigel, need I remind you that it was in the confines of boarding school that you received your education, not here in the wild? Surely you don't think it's civilized for a girl to play with cheetahs and chimpanzees? Hello? <laughs> what about me? Do I look civilized? Frankly, no. But I'm afraid it's much too late for you. <sighs> Mom, Dad, I can't leave. Tally never would have been out on the plains if it wasn't for me. It's all my fault. Eliza, how can it be your fault? But I have to go back out there. No. We make these rules for a reason, Eliza. And if I have to send you away to be safe, I will. Dad, please. Poppet, your intentions are noble, but you're just too young. I'm sorry. <laughs>